Hi everybody, welcome to Honey What's for Dinner. I'm Debbie. Today we're going to be making stuffed mussels. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and let's get started. I want to start off by talking about the mussel. This is an example of mussels that are bad. They're opened up, shells are cracked. These you want to discard. If the mussels don't open up after cooking, you also want to discard those. They aren't any good. Now mussels are a little bit different than clams. They have beards. And to remove the beard, you want to take a paring knife and just pull on it. These I've already done. I'm going to finish up on these. Now that I've got our mussels all cleaned, they're sitting in a tub of cold water with some ice in it to keep them fresh. I have a cup of Pecorino Romano cheese, two cups of breadcrumbs, a stick of butter, and some garlic. And you're going to need a little salt and pepper. So let's get started on our recipe. We're going to start by steaming our mussels. I'm just going to take our mussels. I'm going to stick them in a large stock pot. Ooh, that water's cold. To the pot, I'm going to add about two cups of water. We're just going to turn that on high. Put a lid on that and let them steam until they open up. Okay, our mussels are starting to open up, so as they open up, you're gonna wanna pull them out of the pot, give them a little stir, so you can get to the ones on the bottom. Now that our mussels have opened, we're just gonna remove one of the shells. Make sure that there's no beard attached. That looks good. And we're just going to line those up on our baking sheet. See, like this one has a little bit of beard still left, so we're going to pull that off. Also, I wanted to talk about aluminum foil and lining your pans with aluminum foil. Please use parchment paper instead of aluminum foil. Aluminum foil is just that, aluminum. So when you're cooking the aluminum foil, you're putting aluminum, which is a toxic metal, into your body. So use parchment paper instead of aluminum foil. Me, I don't mind washing the pan. Now that our mussels are all prepped and on one shell, we're going to get started on our filling. We're going to start by taking a stick of butter and melting that. We like a lot of garlic in this house, so I'm going to put in four cloves of garlic. Now that our butter's melted, I'm going to add our breadcrumbs. That's two cups of breadcrumbs. We're just going to give that a little stir. Our cheese. You're also going to need some parsley for this recipe, so we're just going to take some fresh parsley and give that a quick little rough chop. And last, we're going to add our chopped parsley. I'm just going to stir this all together. Until it's nice and crumbly, just like this. Turn off the heat, make a mess. Wouldn't be a recipe if I didn't make a mess. I can smell that garlic. Oh, amazing. Now I'm just going to add a healthy pinch of salt, 
pinch of black pepper. And our filling is ready. Now we're just going to take some of our filling and top each one of our shells. Just like so. While we're filling this, I've got the broiler on. You're going to want to make sure your rack is on its highest point. Now that our shells are filled with our stuffing, we're just going to stick these under the broiler for a minute or two until they start to brown up on the top. And there you have it. Stuffed mussels. These are great for football season coming up if you're having a party or just for a date night or a little snack on a Sunday afternoon with a glass of wine and a glass of beer. Honey, this is what's for dinner. I hope your honey enjoys their dinner. If you try this recipe, I'd love to know. If there's something you'd like help making, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell so you don't miss any surprises. Follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and I'll see you next time on Honey What's for Dinner. A little briny, a little crunchy from the breadcrumb topping. You need to give this a try. I'll see you next time.